Hello, I thought I'd do a cab review on the latest truck from uh, Dennis Eagle. This is an 18 tonner. Uh, I think it's Elite 6 is a model. So the cab's been changed quite a lot from previous models, so I'll just show you some of the updates. So, start off in the corner, on the passenger side. Got a sweet area here you can put your gloves in. It's quite handy for storage. Moving down, here's got the net. You stick gloves in or cans of juice or whatever. And the door card. Again, quite a deep uh, side pocket. Where is that? The gloves or cup holder can go in there. The cab changed quite a bit over the previous models. One of the criticisms I have of Dennis is inside they were quite agricultural to be honest. Not very nice at all. Uh, but these new ones are a big improvement to be fair. Big improvement. So the main centre console is much changed from the old model. So at the bottom you've got these handy cup holders. Four cup holders, we put other stuff in them as well. This is completely new. This whole area is completely redesigned. Windscreen heater, controls, again, heating controls, cold, warm. Aircon and air circulation. Moving up to the top, handy wee bit for a mobile phone. It fits in nicely in there. And you get some of your controls over here. Manual regen. Hello assist, I think that is. Off your beacons, hazards, heat mirrors. Raising the height of the truck up and down. I think that's from maybe turning off the reverse. Hey, beeper, maybe early in the morning, whatever. And I think that's traction control ASR as well. Your button for working the back end on and off. We've installed a an extra thing here for a Garmin it's a sat nav unit really. Also to show mm -hmm. us the routes. Uh, so they're supposed to go there. Means the stop button, if anybody falls in the in the back end, <laughs> some I'm lucky enough to fall in the back end. I can hit that and it shuts the whole back end off completely from working. Now one of the big improvements of the Dennis is legroom. My biggest gripe with the old Dennis was you know, very uh, very poor in the legroom department if you are six foot over or whatever. Not a lot of legroom. But they've redesigned these a wee bit and they've gained a wee bit more legroom which is a big improvement over the old model. Which are really quite poor. And the dashboard here. Again, it sits up a wee bit more at an angle. The old ones are flatter, a bit better. I'll just zoom in there. Normal stuff, fuel gauge, temperature gauge. And that's your regen, usual rev count on And then a bit in there, just your wee computer. How long we've driven for, what the brake time is, all that stuff there. Uh, as you can see by the, uh, the gauge for temperature, a bin lorry runs very hot in comparison to your normal uh, trucks. Don't ask me why, but I did hear that from a Dennis Eagle rep. But they do run a lot warmer. So that gauge is up there, and that's actually normal uh, for a Dennis. That's how warm they run for the due in normal operating times. Moving on to the B computer. Usual stuff. These are beacons. This one is for the that's for the packer. You press that and I'll tell you. We'll just zoom in and rest without organic, which is green waste. And you can you can change that, you can uh, if I press set I can go up organic garden. That's the your garden waste obviously. Uh, paper, cardboard, plastic. So you can you can change the setting, or depending on what you're what you're picking up that day. So I'm in green waste, which is normal landfill domestic gardens. So 
I am on res without organic, organic garden matter. Press that set. If you're down to this bit, you can change your compaction level. Level 5 is the highest. And press that then press set. 4, 3, 2, 1. And that just, oh no, it's not the highest. <laughs> level 10 is the highest. Uh, and that's your compaction. That's basically how hard the truck will compact the stuff in the back. Press set. And that's you. Come out of that. When you want to enter the truck, you press that one there. You start off here, up lifts the back end. Press that one. That's you pushing the rubbish out. Give it a wee one two with the plate just at the end, just to make sure it's all empty. And then you press that one, and that brings the back end down to one meter. And you've got to jump out the truck and manually shut the doors. What I tend to do is, I tend to get to about 22 ton normally, if it's a 26 tonner. I tend to get to about 22 and then I will press this one here and I'll move the plate all the way up to the cab area. Just so I can get a bit more in. It seems to pack better. So uh, we usually move the plate up and it gets to about 22. You hear the truck beginning to maybe struggle a wee bit and you get to 22, 23 ton. So I always move the plate up then and then uh, I'll carry on from. So that's some of the controls in the main main computer here. You just press that to come back out. Also get your camera obviously. The next camera is up the top here as well. There's one up here. I'll move that round. So I've got two cameras. One on the main the control desk and the one at the top here. Usually have them slight, slightly different, so this one's this one is more of a wide angle camera. So you see wide and further back on this one, and this one is normally set more. So you see a wee bit at the back end. You can see the loaders, and you can sometimes also see what's going in the well as well. So you can look out for any sort of contamination. My main gripe with Dennis, and it's still a case with the new ones, is the steering wheel rake very poor. That's all I have. That's as far back as it goes. It can go up, but nobody's going to drive like that. But you put it right down, like so. The only movement in the steering wheel is press that button again. That, that's it. Now every driver's different, but I like the steering wheel to be kind of raked up, more like a kind of car-like angle, and that's impossible in a dentist. So that's one of my main gripes with the Dennis, and it's always been the case that the steering wheel angle is quite poor. If you like your steering wheel more turned over like a more kind of car like as opposed to kind of bus like, very flat. But other than that, it's a big improvement over the old model. The old Dennis's are quite agricultural inside, as I said earlier. Not very nice. They were always, I thought they were always. Uh, a bit lacking in comparison to uh, the Mercaconic, which I thought was nicer inside. But I think these new ones are a big improvement. They're more, more truck-like. Nice lights up the top there as well. Nice blue lighting. I'll just show you up there. <coughs> so, nice blue backlights and netting for your hard hat and whatever else stuff you want to put up there. Moving below them, you got a couple of lockers. Bad. Oh, that's not one there. Come down to the back, same thing, you've got three lockers and these wee bit of blue blue backlighting, which again is a new feature on these new models. The lockers, you know, we twist, open up. So, uh, same with that one. So you've got three lockers, good enough size. You can put all your all your gloves, whatever else, waterproofs or whatever else you want. And your hooks at the back, again same thing just for hooking your clothes, waterproof jackets, rucksacks, whatever the case may be. The seats have improved a bit as well. Dennis logo on them. And uh, look a wee bit more 
Some sort of plush is the right word. But uh, they're certainly a bit better than the old ones were. So overall it's a, a big improvement over the old elites, without a doubt. And it's a wee bit more truck-like and certainly a step in the right direction. I hope you enjoyed that short video. Somebody would ask if I do a wee video in the cab of the new one, so uh, I thought I'd do a bit more in-depth one and show you what the controls are and what it's like to spend your working day in one. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you like this kind of stuff, uh, then if you want to subscribe, and that would be fantastic. So uh, yeah, thank you for that, and I'll, I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.